Tonight we got something a little special for you planned, but uh, it is not the evening yet, and uh, until it is, uh, her and I are just doing some regular old uh, worm fishing, and we caught something we didn't expect. Uh, got a nice white bass. Nice unexpected catch here. <laughs> I'm gonna put him back now. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Fish Dimension. Good to see you again. Basically, the wife and I are really sick of not being able to catch anything but sunfish. Now eventually that's gonna mean some more bass fishing videos where we target them specifically. That'll be coming up soon. Uh, but we were, you know, really, uh, really, really wanting to just get on some crappy again. And, uh, you know, of course the reason that we can't get on crappy at the moment is because, uh, you know, temperatures, uh, have risen quite significantly and crappy are a more cold water kind of fish so they've gone very deep and they're they're sort of orienting toward uh, you know deep cover which means uh, they're going under you know uh, people's docks generally in deeper parts of the lake now if you have a boat you got no problem getting on them you just you know sail right up to these docks and you know cast out right there and you know you can catch dozens of crappy just like uh any other time in any other season but uh you know we don't have a boat yet for the moment we are pretty much exclusively bank fishermen and in a lot of the spots that we fish uh you know it really just doesn't have a major abundance of uh people's docks located around nice deep water where the crappy would be stacked up so we really wanted to learn how to catch some from the bank in summertime and I'm happy to say that we found a way. I want to show you guys this thing here. All right. This is a uh, 12 volt battery that I bought from Walmart. And uh, this is something we uh, got in the mail off of Amazon. Uh, this is a uh, green fishing light, uh, you know, primarily for crappy. And uh, it's got this long, wire on it so that you can uh, hang it off of the side of a, of a fishing dock. Uh, so let me just show you if I hook it up here. Hmm, look at that. Yeah, this thing is bright. It's got, uh, it, you know, pretty much covered in all uh, LED lighting here. And uh, man, it looks like I got a lightsaber here. Hopefully I was able to find some sound effects that were royalty free for that. But yeah, so uh, we take this uh, shiny thing uh, to the deepest water that as bank fishermen we can get to, and that happens to be off the boat dock at Buttle Creek. And I'm happy to say that we were successful. Uh, we had experimented uh, before with a couple of uh, little cheap lights that we just stuck in the water. One wasn't even uh, green, it was just white. And it worked pretty well. I mean, at this point they're... Uh... They're creating their own uh, whirlpool of ripples around this thing. This is more bait fish in one place than I have ever seen. So we figured we, uh, you know, we should order a nice one online. But yeah, the whole concept behind uh, putting a light in the water, uh, you know, obviously you can only do this at night because it'll only be noticeable at light, but the light attracts a whole bunch of plankton to it, just little little microinvertebrates that, uh, you know, that come up to try to try to get in there, try to get at the light. And uh, the little plankton attract little bait fish, minnows and shad and whatnot, and they swim up to the light and they start swirling around. And uh, pretty soon after that, you get big fish coming in to try to eat the little fish. Uh, I gotta admit, the first time I heard about this, I just thought it was some gimmicky thing that some people thought maybe worked or something. I had no idea that it was going to work as well as it did. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm just gonna jump you guys right into the video here so you can see how we did. Uh, but I highly, highly recommend getting you one of these. Okay, so you can see the thing down in the water here. It's already working, attracting uh, lots of bait fish. Uh, if our previous experiments with uh, kind of lights we rigged up ourselves are any indication, there should be a maelstrom of bait fish in no time, really. So we're just going to uh, cast some jigs right down into this light here and see what kind of bites we can get. We're all set up with a 12 volt, volt battery there and all of our various things sitting around here. 
That's uh, quite a mass of tackle. Got my rod, same one I always use on these trips. We're gonna try this uh, little uh, green flappy tail grubby thing first. Jiggly Google eyes. And I see I'm just gonna let it drop straight down to the bottom. So I just start off taking a, you know, taking it a couple inches from the bottom and I just jig it in place, paying attention to any little taps on my line. Right now I'm using the black and pink tube. Oh, you're trying that out, huh? Yeah. We found those on the ground at another spot. I mean, uh, I guess I'll tell the story. I don't even, you know, you guys wouldn't, you just wouldn't even believe the the stuff we've gone through tonight to uh, to just be able to fish. You would not believe it. You know, we started off on the other side there, and you know she was lucky enough to get that white bass, and um, uh, you know I got on a couple bluegill while we were there. Um, you know, not worth really showing or anything. But uh, so while we were over there, you know, a big storm blows in, and we had to hightail it out of there really quick, and. Uh, you know, we got soaked from the knees down. We had our ponchos, but we got soaked from the knees down walking uh, from there back over to where we were parked. And, uh, you know, we waited out the rain and we decided we were going to uh, uh, just stay here and fish here. You know, we thought, of, you know, should we go to another spot? Should we stay here? I mean, there, were, there have just been holes all day. Uh, on jet skis and boats, drunk, and, uh, you know, people just doing all kinds of annoying shit, you know, like driving right in front of you, you know, splashing, making, you know, playing their music loud, uh, you know, making the wake really bad. Uh, it's been insufferable. So we're over there, you know, we wait for the rain to stop, and we decide we're just going to come back, walk back down to the bank in front of the parking lot and fish a little bit till night till we were able to do this. Well, that didn't happen because a couple of the aforementioned assholes who were uh you know jetting around on the on the jet skis in the water here well two of them crashed into each other somehow uh down that way way down deep into the um the creek here and uh yeah so uh then then proceeds to come uh pretty much a par an endless parade of uh, rescue boats and emergency personnel. I mean, they must have put like six, six or seven boats out in the water uh, to get Including these. Including one police uh, boat. Yeah, one and one sheriff's boat, basically. Yeah. And uh, you know, one of the guys who was involved in the uh, in the accident died. Yeah, so somebody died on this lake yeah. today. Yeah, someone we saw go out earlier today died on this lake today, uh, probably by drowning. Uh, yep, and uh, you know the, the police boats aren't there anymore. You know we didn't film any of that stuff because it was getting dark and it wouldn't have looked like much on camera anyway. Uh, but uh, it was incredibly annoying. It would, yeah, the whole thing was just incredibly annoying. You know, like so. Anyway, since we got emergency personnel coming up and down this boat ramp and everything, you know, we can't be sitting here on the dock fishing. We'd be in their way. You know, we don't want to be. Uh, you know that that big of jerks. Um, so we uh, we left and we went to uh, we went to another spot. We went to the flat swamp spot and tried to put the green light in, and it barely attracted anything. No bait fish. You know the area was just too shallow. It wasn't going to work. We had a million flies buzzing around us. It was miserable. Mm -hmm. So we thought, you know, we we thought about another dock in that area that we could try, but somebody was already there fishing with his kid at eleven o'clock. Yeah. Uh, the kid Little was kid yeah, too. the kid was like three years old. You know, great. And uh, so so we we said you know the only spot where where this has worked and where we're going to do anything is right here at Buttle Creek. So you know, finally, about eleven thirty, we got back here and finally we're seriously fishing tonight. I and mean, it has just been an all-night escapade to even just sit down and find a spot. Yeah. Um, you know, I feel bad for the dude who died. Uh, the other guy was injured um, in the jet ski crash. I don't know if they crashed into each other or if it one, was one jet ski and they were both on it and they crashed and, uh, you know, one of them, one of them fell off. Um, I don't know. We heard but, a lot of different stories. Yeah, we heard a lot of different stories. People didn't know what the hell they were talking about, but we finally read uh, an article online about it, and it was two dudes. And yeah, 22-year-old dude uh, died not 
a mile from here today. That's why people should not drink and jet ski. Yes. Accidents happen when people start drinking on a jet ski. Yeah, you listen to this lady. <laughs> That's right. And uh, you know, really important guys, you know, like I'm not I'm not some master boatman or anything, you know, I'm not a I'm not a captain. I don't own a boat. I've never even driven a boat to be honest. But uh, you know, one thing that's so basic that even I know it is wear your damn life preserver. Yeah. Put you on know, your life vest. If that guy uh, who fell into the water had been wearing one, he would have just, you know, bobbed there like a cork and he wouldn't drown. But no, instead he drowned. You know. You know, looking uh, looking swanky is a uh, pretty pretty good reason to uh, wind up at the bottom of a lake. Hundreds of people have drowned in this lake. Mm -hmm. Usually for dumb reasons like that. All right, so uh, rant over. Yeah, rant over. We'll uh, we'll see you guys back when uh, when some fish start biting. There we go. Got one. Reeled him right into my uh, my rod. <laughs> So you can see the uh, the method works. Hope I turned the camera on quickly enough for the fight there. Yeah, I started seeing my line move off, and uh, I knew he was on. We did manage to figure out that uh, uh, black, black and pink are the colors of the evening. So there you go. Nice, uh, nice little black crappy there. And let me tell you, it is, uh, it feels good to be back on some real game fish. Boat coming in. There you go, buddy. There's my baby. Catching crappy. Yep. They're starting to come in for the minnows. They're coming in like crazy, getting lots of bites. This is working out really, really well. Yep. Put him back in the water. Mm-hmm. Now don't... As you can see, when you jig hard, uh, it really stirs them all up. All right, good job, babe. Still using that pink and uh, black tube, huh? Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Ow. Got me. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Nice crappy. Good job. Thank you. <laughs> all right, back you go. Yeah, so just for everyone's uh, information here, we are the only people catching fish on this bank right now. Yeah, there's two other large groups of people here, and uh, none of them have caught any fish. Oh, just missed one. Damn. You got the catfish? Yep, it's the catfish. A little earlier, a guy uh, offered us a catfish from his boat, and we said, nah, so we threw it back over here, and looks like uh, my baby here just caught it. Pass a step into him. Because you always have to catch a catfish. <laughs> He's trying to go up under this dock. There he is. Yeah, there he is. That's the same exact one, same exact size. There he is. So that's about uh, what two pound uh, channel cat there. Yep, thereabouts. He's pretty decent. He's hmm. about, about a pound and a half, maybe two pounds. Not bad. Not bad. All right, catfish. <laughs> okay. Go fishing for crappy, and you catch catfish sometimes. Yep, especially when you specifically try to. Yep, especially <laughs> when you know where the guy released him. Yep. <laughs> there he goes. Okay, catfish section over. <laughs> Quite a lot of bait fish now. Good little jump on the dock here. It scatters them all like crazy. Oh, got one. Nice. Now that one might have actually uh, come in pretty well. All right, come here. Alright, nice little crappy. Not bad, not bad. Good job. 
I knew I saw something scaring up the fish. There we go. All right, isn't this nice? Much better than catching a million bluegill over and over again. We're not catching like slabs or anything here tonight, but uh, honestly, it just feels good to be getting on something that's not a bunch of bait fish. All right, so there you go. Nice little tiny, tiny black crappie tonight here at Buttle Creek using a green light. Highly recommended if, uh, like us, you're having a tough time on the bank. Oh. He's pulling dry hard. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, I'm trying to film it here. Oh, no, don't run up under the dock. That will do him no good. There he goes again. Shaking his head. Oh, Ooh. this is a big fish. I'm not kidding. <laughs> you might uh, beat my PB here. It's definitely a catfish. Oh. <laughs> what else could it be? Trying to tire him out. <laughs> He's going to get one more burst of energy. I just know it. Of course. Move it in front of the camera here. again. I had to tighten my drag. Ooh, that's a big one. Yeah, I think that'll easily uh, be your biggest there. Oh, he is nice. I wonder if I can uh, grab the line to flip him out for you. I'm going to let him tire himself out a little bit more. Mm-hmm. He's wanting to pull his head. Let's see. He's a channel cat, I think. As soon as I reach down there, he's going to try to take off. Yep. Yeah, it's a channel cat. Let him just work himself out. <laughs> That's neat. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the catfish. Yep, you got to do it every night. All right, so do it again. Shanking that head. Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, I wish we had a. He's yanking that head hard. Let's see. You want me to hold the line for you while you uh, grab his mouth? He's still... He is really yanking hard. Oh, there he goes. Crap. Well, Oh, I knew that was going to happen. Uh, well, we saw him. <laughs> well, I'm glad he got free. Yeah, that's uh, better than having to do it yourself in some ways. Yeah, we need to start bringing our net. Yeah. That was fun fighting him. I just wish I could have got him weighed. Yeah. Oh, well. well. <laughs> nice little, well, he looked to be about a four, four to five pound That's what I, I thought. It wasn't like the biggest fish we've ever caught, but it was pretty big. Yeah, he was probably the biggest channel cat I'd, I've ever hooked. Yeah. So. All right. Damn. Keeps biting me, but I can't get him to commit to it. It's like he keeps trying to take it off and take off with it, and he can't. Every time I let it sink back down to the same level and jig it a bit, he bites. Oh, got him. Got him. Awesome. There we go. Get up here, buddy. Oh, yeah. he's good sized. Yeah, he's not bad at all. All right, hold still. Decent. Quit thrashing. Knew I'd get him eventually here. Decent. Glad I had the camera going. All right. You are looking good, my friend. Well, this uh, turned into a pretty, uh, pretty decent video and a good little uh, tutorial, I think. It's a nice fish. Yeah, good fish. Fish look pretty. 
Mm-hmm. This is by far my favorite fish. Yeah, my favorite fish to catch, too. I mean, bass and catfish, you know, they put up a good fight. They're fun, but... Oh, so these guys, they're just so hard to figure out sometimes. It's just really rewarding when you figure out how to catch them. In this case, uh, you know, since we're vertical jigging, we're effectively hook setting as you would when you, uh, you ice fish. Just moving your whole arm straight up to, to get them. Yep. And we keep getting them right at the roof of the mouth. Back he goes. Yeah. Went straight under the dock. How ridiculously cold tonight. Mm, little bite. Oh, damn. Wasn't on. Thought he was.